Whittier Hospital Medical Center has faced more challenges this spring, summer, and fall than it has in its entire 60 plus year history. But these frontline workers are here now, waiting in anticipation because the word is out. Today, this winter, is getting off to a very, very good start. My name is Rick Castor. I'm the CEO of Whittier Hospital. I'm here to celebrate a monumental day for us. Today, Whittier Hospital employees, frontline employees, our physicians, received their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. We're very excited about it. To us, it's the day that it starts the beginning of the end. The uh, professionalism, the compassion, the em empathy that we've seen over the last nine months is something that I've never experienced in my life. And I'm so humbled and happy to be part of all this group of people who have done a remarkable job taking care of our patients, taking care of our community. I want to compliment them because without them, more lives would have been lost in our own community. And these people are directly responsible for saving people's lives, and it doesn't get any better than that. No, 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 I didn't even feel it. Did you do it already? I'm just kidding. <laughs> How'd that feel? Um, it didn't hurt at all. I thought we were didn't even get started yet. Sarkis Vartanian is one of the chief organizers of this wonderful event. Uh, my name is Sarkis Vartanian. I'm the chief nursing officer here at Whittier Hospital Medical Center. And today is a really important day for us. Uh, we have our uh, first batch of Pfizer vaccines for COVID-19. And uh, we have about 650, 660 doses uh, or so uh, with the first batch. And uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week, uh, over this next three days, uh, we're administering uh, all of those doses to our staff, uh, frontline workers, and our medical staff, our physicians as well. And so as you, as you can see behind me, there's a, a line of, uh, of folks waiting to, to get their vaccination. We have about seven stations uh, set up inside um, with nurses ready to, uh, to vaccinate our staff. And after all these folks receive their vaccine today and over the next two days, 17 to 21 days after that, uh, there's a second dose that that uh, we're scheduled to to receive so that they uh, they receive the second dose because uh, it's a two dose series. Very few people better understand the importance of this vaccine than Dr. Leo Lee. I'm very excited. Today's a big day here at the hospital because we're receiving our COVID-19 vaccination. I just got my vaccine uh, in the left arm. Not a problem. It was very simple and side effects which we have with are usually fairly mild based on what's reported in the literature. You can actually have uh, some soreness at the injection site, maybe fever, some body aches, maybe headache. But those are symptoms which are easily controlled with things like Tylenol, if not Motrin, and some rest. For most frontline workers, caring for patients is the number one reason for taking the vaccine today. My name is Alex Kang. I work in the uh, endoscopy unit um, as a registered nurse. I'm getting the vaccine because um, I work with COVID patients all the time and uh, I want to make sure that I'm safe and, and therefore I can uh, provide care for my patients. Of course, all recipients are being carefully monitored. So uh, after the Pfizer vaccine uh, is administered inside by, uh, by our nursing staff, uh, we've set up a station out here to monitor um, for 15 minutes uh, after receiving the vaccine um, to make sure that there's no side effects that require immediate attention. So uh, it's going really well so far. Uh, we have a nurse overseeing this area uh, just to make sure. No side effects, no setbacks. This has truly been a great day for all. Hi, my name is Jeff Eddings. I run the CAT scanner here at Whittier Hospital for about the last 31 years and I am one of the frontline workers along with our wonderful doctors and nurses and I have uh, very good confidence in the shot and look forward to surviving a wonderful world. Today, whether we thank Pfizer's researchers, our caregivers, Operation Warp Speed, or God, let's just take time to be thankful for V-Day 2020.